Hello everybody, Darren here, and welcome back to my playthrough for City Skylines. Now, in the last episode, we had just set up our basic infrastructure and achieved the status of a worthy village with 1,100 inhabitants. Today, we look to expand the town almost exponentially as we work to unlock more services and industrial options. Remember, of course, to check the description below if you're curious as to any of the mods that I'm using. I just want to say thank you for all the suggestions and feedback of the first episode. It was extremely positive, and I'm happy to be able to continue building up the little town of swords. I would love to be able to do several videos per week for this series, so please continue to like the videos, and if possible, share the first episode with anyone you think may also enjoy it. I'd also seen an influx of channel members, so again, thank you for the support, and remember, you can get videos early by being a channel member, and some perks in my Discord as well. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are back in the worthy village of swords. Now, I've actually got a little bit of a to-do list on my other screen here of things that I want to get done in this episode. So I'm just going to pause the game and get to work on some of the little details that I'd left by the wayside in the previous episode. So the first one is cleaning up this particular roundabout. Sort of temporary, but we can kind of get to work on it now. So one of the first things I wanted to do was just chop away this little angle here. These, the highway was actually still connected, and that was a mistake on my part. It was making the road look particularly strange. And you know what? I'm probably just going to get rid of all this and plop down a fresh roundabout and connect this kind of more properly. So let's begin. Alrighty, so that took significantly longer than it should have, but we now have a fairly round looking roundabout, a little, maybe a little misshapen, just slightly, but at least it works, and uh, I got a little bogged down for a while there, and that's why night time has basically passed, because I let time play and I realized cars were just kind of deleting as they were coming in, and I didn't know why, but it turns out that the two one-way roads here were both facing the same direction, so my bad on that one, corrected it, all seems to be good now, although cars seem to be kind of slowing down significantly before they enter the roundabout. So I'll have to look into maybe why that is. But looking into TMPE, the speed limits are all totally fine and everything. And looking at the node controller to look under the hood at what's going on, it says it's just a bend in the road. So maybe it thinks it's a really significant bend, so the car has to slow down a lot, but not too sure. Weirdly, there's no cars coming by right now. Now, unfortunately, with all that time passing, all these people have just moved in here, and we're after making a bunch of money. Also, a house has burned down. But before I get to any of that, I want to build another road. We're going to do a roundabout here. So let's see if we can just do it without having the time lapse at first, but we'll see. So just get rid of this little bit. This is obviously our industry over here. We'll just go into this, get our roundabout. Maybe make this one a, a small one. I don't want to go too crazy with the roundabouts, but where they make sense, obviously, would be good. And I think it makes sense here. So let's maybe chop another bit of this road away. We'll use our picker tool just to pick the same road. Use curved, and just curve straight into it and see what happens. Anarchy is not on, so we're just going straight in like that. Maybe we'll do the same here, just get rid of this little chunk. Pick our tool, pick this bit of the road, and just go out and in. So far, so good. Okay, now I just realized I've just made that a one-way. It needs to be a two-way. Does it? Well, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Alright, good. And that is two ways. Well, obviously, it's a four lane road. Alright, so we're left with quite a lot of crosswalks and weird junctions and stuff. So let's see if we can clean up some of this just really quickly. So we've got a weird node here. We can change this from custom to just. I think just stretched, right? It's just a continuation of the road. So there's really nothing going on there. If we go bend. Yeah, bend in the road. Oh, middle of the road. Even better. All right, so we'll do that here, middle of the road. So it's not really anything, right? It's just middle of the road. It's just another node that delineates a turn in the road, so no one has to care about it. Uh, so for here, what we can do is maybe get rid of the crosswalks 
red and yellow. Again, I would say get rid of the crosswalks, red and blue. So people are able to walk over here, walk over here. These ones, less so. So again, yellow and red. I think it just makes the road look a little nicer. The shape is actually totally fine. I don't think I need to really make any adjustments to that. So that's nice and easy, that one. So the next thing I was planning on doing was redoing this estate down here. I just wasn't very happy with it. It was kind of hastily done at the end of the episode to get more people in, which worked, you know, but we're going to have to send them all home. Because I think I can do better than that. And let's just make sure the zoning is off. Yeah, it is. So just let time play for a minute. So while we're waiting, we can also maybe just have a look at other crossings we can remove, seeing as we were just doing that. So is there any crossings in this area? These ones are okay. Real busy area. We have our school here. I can kind of remind you of what's going on in the city in case uh, it's been a while. God, the music is very triumphant at this moment. But yeah, actually, I'm not seeing any crosswalks that look out of place. I think we're totally fine. But in the new roads that we put down, we'll have to change them a bit. Oh, also, I always need to get in the habit of remembering. So if we just added this road, the speed limit has just changed. A little bit of a hassle, but if we look all the way down... So it's 50 all the way down this road. Yeah, we want it to get back up to 80. So we just hold shift, left click, boom. That's 80 anywhere until there's a junction, so that's all good. And then just leave it. 40 is fine for everywhere else. That's totally cool. Easy does it. Nice. Someone on their bike heading to work now. I could be wrong. No, there is a bike. It looked like there was no bike when they were traveling. Excellent. And some people are just going to straight up walk to work. Because why not? They live quite close. Some people were saying they live very close. A little too close, perhaps, to the landfill and to the industry. That's true. There is pollution. And pollution is going to corrupt the land value around here. People don't want to be living at the back of a factory. Uh, I'm aware of that, but the idea is that later on we'll have industry move out to this area because this is where the rail line is. And if we look at the natural resources, there is a lot of uh, fertile land out here. So it looks perfect and ripe for farming. In fact, I don't think we even looked at this. We've just unlocked it because we became a worthy village. So now we can see that there looks like there's small amounts of oil, I guess, all around the lake. There's fertile land out here. There's ore kind of going along this squiggly ore vein out to the right. And then there's obviously just trees everywhere and a massive oil deposit out of the ocean uh, in the bay. So I'm thinking in the future, we'll probably set up like an oil rig in the ocean in the bay in the future and maybe do some farming in the estates out this way. So using the industry's DLC, we can set up kind of an interesting sort of industry out that way. And because of the realistic population mod, um, it changes and rebalances things quite significantly to how many jobs we'll need. So we'll probably be able to remove this industry completely and just have everyone work in the farms, uh, which would be interesting. That means that all this little this little hamlet here, this little village, they're all going to take the main road out, hopefully, and take this road down and out and just get straight onto the highway now with our beautiful new roundabout and go straight across the bridge. And there, Bob's your uncle to be there in the farming industries. Now, we've had a house burned down. I was waiting on these ones to be removed. You don't have to wait. You can just remove them yourself, I guess. Sorry, guys. Bad planning. All right, let's improve the planning of this. So we'll go with a two-lane road. We'll go with a curved road. And maybe just go straight out here. Just trying to think. Maybe... Oh, actually, there's no zones on it. So make sure it's zoned. That's better. And can we curl it just straight up? It's actually not curling, but there we go. Yeah. I need to come back just a, a smidge. I want it to be able to curl like this along the edge. So if we just bring it to distance too short, sorry. Let's do it again. Maybe to about there. Tell it to go straight, but then curl it. Yeah, so now we can see the zoning is in from the main road, which is what I wanted. All right, just something like that. And then this one can maybe go straight along here. Again, keeping the zoning away from the other houses, so it's lots of room to do stuff. And you could just uh, maybe turn off that grid now. Just go to about there. So that's nice. And then we'll do something similar over this way. So I'm thinking come down and bring it to here, but don't connect the roads. We'll leave them. Some people are saying, oh, I don't like the amount of cul-de-sacs you have. But I don't know. In a little suburban town, I think that's kind of par for the course, isn't it? Not everywhere. I mean... This, there is a, a, a decent amount, but not everything's a cul-de-sac. They, they all have multiple ways out. But you sort of want to guide people out, right? You want 
people to be living in the cul-de-sac to and that way you can kind of guide the traffic out to your main roads to your bigger roads and then to the even bigger ones and so on and so forth right i think that's kind of the way it's supposed to be done it can look nice i mean if you just do a big grid or lots of circles or lots of intersections then ultimately i mean <laughs> you won't have any problems right uh, i but i think visually it's a little less interesting and probably less realistic at least where i live i live in southeast england there's cul-de-sacs everywhere you know um yeah pretty much pretty much everywhere <laughs> uh but anyway We'll see how we get on. But we could try different styles in different parts of the city. Over here, maybe we'll do less of that. You know, make it a bit more urban, a bit more built up, and a bit more connected. That could be kind of interesting to see how the two operate. The building is burned down. It wasn't the school, was it? Ah, who cares about them? All right, so <laughs> we are losing people because we just got rid of this area. But we'll rezone it in just a moment. So I'm just pausing it again. We'll bring this road down. Let's get the guide back on. This one, I don't think it should mirror what the other one is doing too much. Maybe it goes straight like this. And then you've got a little bit of room to come out here, maybe. You'll eat into that person's house just slightly if you go over there. That's okay. I need to turn off those. There we go. All right, I'm just gonna see if I can kind of smoothen this out a bit. Uh, not really. I think the way I've built it, it's just a bit too close anyway. That's a bit better. All right, cool. So now we can zone that, hopefully get these people moving back in, in a bit of a nicer neighborhood now, I think, slightly. Uh, so we'll just use the paint tool, paint all this back in. Let time play now, I guess. Some dezoned areas there. And other people were saying, hey, you haven't set up any public transport. I haven't unlocked it yet, so I can't. <laughs> so there's nothing I can do about that. But we'll get there. All right, let's speed up time. So the next thing is we just unlocked. Let's have a look at what we unlocked, becoming a worthy village. We have policies, districts. We can now expand our area. We got a cash injection. We can take a second loan. We never even took the first one. Police department and emergency services. So someone's house burned down. <laughs> we should probably work on that. So let's go with a firehouse. Our commercial district is kind of up here. So I was thinking a nice little firehouse somewhere up around the commercial area is probably quite nice. So about there. It's on the sort of main road. They can kind of get to wherever they need to from here. And maybe, how much was that, by the way? So that was 12,000. Fight against fires by building a firehouse. Firehouses maintain firefighter teams and fire engines that will respond to fire emergencies. 480 water per week and extra electricity as well. Six fire engine capacity. So we'll get a police station. We're going to put it right across. It actually fits perfectly into this little area here. Oh, and I found out about the um, tree removal thing. So what was happening was... Using Anarchy, I had Collision turned off. Thanks for a few people that mentioned this in the comments, and some other people mentioned other YouTubers that were having that issue too. Collision was off when I was putting the roads down. Uh, in Vanilla, that's not really an issue, but when you use um, Network Anarchy, the mod, this is off by default, and I thought maybe it was to do with only if you're turning Anarchy on, so my bad on that one, but Collision is on now, so trees will get removed appropriately. And something actually I was planning on doing, again, we kind of touched on it earlier, was just copying a few of the trees that we have down here, for instance. And just pacing around. Now, they should auto-delete if they're encroaching on anything. But it just fills back in these areas. I actually deleted them in between episodes before I realized what the fix was. So I'll just put these back in. And just fill up these sort of park areas. Almost before these houses. And once the houses grow, they'll get removed and things like that. Alright, cool. And just fills up, fills up the empty space a bit more. Now, we eventually, we're going to have parks and things, so it should be totally fine. Alright, we got people moving back in. The Madison residence. Nobody living here just yet. House is being built. We're going to be seeing an influx of cars coming in from over the, uh, the motorway, the highway. One hot dog van. Can we see where it's going? It's going to Garment... No, sorry, the, it's owned by Garments Limited. I guess they're in need of some hot dogs. So yeah, we can see this car slowing down pretty significantly. I guess that's not unusual. You do have to slow before going onto a roundabout, right? But I just thought maybe they're slowing a lot. But maybe not. <laughs> love it. Love our little roundabout. Here's something else that's kind of crazy. We can use intersection marking tool to fill in this area, I think. 
Not too sure how you can do it, actually. There is a way, though. Well, maybe not. Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. I know that you can do it for here, for instance. So, for instance, if I wanted to join this to this, and join this to this... Actually, forget I said that. Let's just get rid of this. <laughs> we can go to Fillers, press Control shift f to work on a filler. Connect these two, like I just said, in a sort of square. And then what we can do is say, instead of stripes or other road markings here, we can actually fill it with pavement, a pavement island. And use the default theme. Now, there's a little bit of clipping going on. But if you just raise the elevation slightly, you can kind of get rid of that. And you won't really notice it, I don't think. It's a very slight elevation. So it kind of joins these two areas together. And then what you can do, I think, as well, is for lines. We can create a new line from here to here. Ah, oh, the filler will be deleted. Maybe not. I thought there was a way of also saying the pavement continues on the edge. There is. I'm pretty sure there is. I don't want to get too bogged down with it. For instance, if I do it from here to here, just as an example, we can say instead of dash, we can say pavement. And it creates just like a little pavement line. So I think you can do that there, but it said it would get rid of the filler, so I'm a bit surprised about that. Didn't think that was a, a thing. Now, these are just visuals. I don't think they have any impact on anything, but it's nice just to, you know, create that pavement island, like it said delineating the, the two areas, or joining them up, I suppose, um, to make it seem like it's all one. So... Yeah, because I put this down first... I can go clip the sidewalk? I don't know. I'll, I'll play around with it. I'm still learning these mods, obviously, but it's pretty cool that you can do that. I can put those fillers in in future. So I'll, I'll practice it a little bit. I feel like my... Pra well, let me actually just try one thing while I'm here. Uh, so we'll go here to here. Do you want to delete this action? Delete the line? Yes. Wow, a lot of cars coming in now. Good to see, though. Alright, so we'll make this pavement, just to see what that looks like, so that's good. And then we'll make this pavement. Okay, so we're, I've got a little pavement. Now I'll click it again, and we'll say we want to do a filler. And we want to do it on the same line. Yeah, see, I think this way it's totally fine. It doesn't seem to have any issue with it now. I'll raise that elevation, and there. So now we've got a bit more of a uniform thing going on. Now you can actually change the texture of the center one to match that one if you wanted to, and I think you could probably change the texture of this one as well on the fillers, because you have default map theme, but you can do natural beauty. So that kind of links up a bit better. The other one is the realistic thing. Yeah, so realistic is the thing we're using, but natural beauty actually maybe makes more sense, but then this is off, so I don't know. <laughs> you can play around with it obviously for a very long time. All right, we've got a little dump truck coming in here now as well. And a moped. Walter Peters. So all these people are moving into their new homes, basically. That's what this traffic is. God, yeah, very slow on the way out. Really slow. Gotta look into why that is. They're basically stopping, like, you know? There's no stop sign. Yeah, maybe it's just a little finicky the way I did the road anarchy or whatever. It seems like there's two possible junctions here, so maybe there's overlap. I'll I'll, I'll work on it. <laughs> I'm still learning. Anyways, looking good out here. This place is filling up nicely. And we have our service buildings down now as well. So we have our... Um... Oh, you are kidding me. I put a firehouse down twice, didn't I? Wow, good job, darn. We'll get some money back for that. That's my bad. I meant to be a police... Headquarters. Yeah, police station. There we go. Better. Alright, so the long arm of the law reaches the city. I feel safer already. Hashtag I am the law. Large fire engine, mini fire engine. Let's use a mini one for now. We are just but we are but a small town. Police car, police supercar. I think we're good with the regular police car. Where are they heading off to? Wanting to a call at the Holly residence. Now, why did you guys stop here? I don't know. And yeah, there's a couple crosswalks we can get rid of. Alright, looking pretty good. So we'll just get rid of the ones that we just built down here, and I'll try to move a bit quicker now. It's nice to have a mix of focusing on some of the details and then also progression building up. We were waiting for things to fill up here, but we've got room now for more commerce. So I think we should get working on that.
Also, we've unlocked tax control, so we should probably increase the taxes. People say that 12 is the sweet spot, but I'm just going to go to 10. I'm going to be a nice guy for a little while. If we need to put the squeeze on them, we will. But it's okay. 10 is totally fine. Uh, we could take a loan. We're down to 1,000 now. So let's take the, the basic loan. The interest is just 5%. Not too bad. I hate, absolutely hate taking loans. Hate it. Just don't like owing money to anyone. It's the worst thing ever. So I'll try to avoid it as much as possible. We need a little bit of a cash injection so we can build up out this way. Uh, what was next on my thing? So police station, firehouse, removing crosswalkings, redoing that estate. I think next is really just building up some more commerce and then building out the next area. So what I was kind of thinking is we have this lovely little village down here. I'd like to make kind of another one here and then make a commercial district in between the two in the future. So this area, excuse me, I kind of want to reserve for like, yeah, just basically markets and other amenities. Maybe a high school could go and link between the two little villages. Each one has their own elementary school, but maybe the, you know, this area, this kind of commercial center, as it were, will have like university. University is a bit advanced, but high school, you know. All right, there's our fire safety. The hazard is 31%. Perfect. That's exactly where I want it to be. That house needs to be removed, does it? Oh. <laughs> They're like, thank you. Didn't look too good. All right, um, what's our next milestone, by the way? So reaching a population of 1,600 gives us park areas, industry, pedestrian, and so on. Landscaping, importantly, as well. So I was thinking of probably making this a park. Uh, someone actually mentioned that in the comments, and that was kind of my idea all along really was to sort of build around this area go up and around it have a town here have a town here kind of build in around it and then have a bigger beachfront or bayfront as well uh, with the park management in the center now i played a little bit of the park dlc i built it a, a little bit before but not too much and i know that now the game has like tourism and stuff so i was thinking that we could put like a little tourist cabin out here i think this area counts as like natural beauty but i don't think we can see that yet yeah it's it's uh blocked out for us to see so we'll have to wait. We haven't unlocked parks and stuff yet, so we'll just have to wait. All right, let's continue zoning, and we'll speed up time now a little bit. So we'll z zone all of this area together to keep the... Maybe not at the back here. That doesn't really make any sense. i just keep it around the, um, yep, fire station, police station, a few shops and things like that. What we can also do to fill this area in is use some of our paving tools. So again, this is called Surface Painter, another mod. But if we wanted just to clean up some of the concrete between these areas make it look like it's a bit more unified a bit more built up we can easily do that i like this mod but it is um it's a little strange it doesn't whoop, <laughs> i didn't do that it doesn't build in like a grid i i can't really get things to be like straight line if you know what i mean if anyone knows how to do that let me know i know there's brush tools and stuff here but i still can't really do it i've, I've played around with it for a while and it, it kind of does it by hexes almost if you know what i mean so it's still good for filling in little gaps and everything, but it's not super, super ideal, I don't think. It'd be nice to get like that really even edge, the way the normal buildings have it. And if you know how to do that, let me know. I'll just fill in a few of these pockets. And then um, we haven't unlocked them yet. See, I don't have everything unlocked, but in future then we could put down decals, extra parking, a few um, places for people to hang out, and they do interact with some of these things. The decals, obviously, they don't, but they can make the place, break up the place and make it look a little bit nicer. All right, we'll just make this a bit more uniform around the back. Something like that. I look forward then to joining up these places with little pathways so people can just walk straight out. That is a very white looking house. <laughs> Sun facing as well. We have these lovely hills at the back as well, which would be nice if we, um, when talking about the subscriber town, if we ever get to it, building them up on the hills would be pretty cool overlooking everything. All right. I'm feeling this is such a pleasant game <laughs> to play. Feels really nice. All right, and all right, we've got no traffic or anything, right? Ah, we're fine. A little confusion going on there, but other than that, this roundabout's a godsend. They're loving it. I don't want to go crazy with roundabouts everywhere. It's too easy that way. <laughs> nice. I'm really happy with how things are going. All right, so with twenty-four thousand in the bank, let's begin the next expansion for roads at least, and we'll just work on that while things grow in the background. We have pretty much zoned everywhere we can. Uh, I guess there's a tiny bit more maybe we could do out this way. I know it's close to industry, but like I said, we might remove that industry in the future. Alright. 
So I think what would make sense is maybe to grab this road here and just create an intersection off of it. So we'll use guidelines for the moment. It is going to get quite dark, actually, so we'll triple speed it as we go through this. All right, so, in fact, it is so dark I can really barely see anything for building. Some people said, like, oh, just don't include nighttime, but it's too much of a gameplay. It has too much importance on gameplay, I think, to remove it completely. So I don't, I don't necessarily want to do that, especially when our town starts to get bigger. It will be brighter, and we can do lots more during the night, um, especially because we'll have, like different budget control for what's happening at nighttime versus daytime. In fact, let's lo lower down the budgets for the police, the fire, all that kind of stuff. Now, education budget, what does it say? Schools, universities, and campus areas are high budget teach more students. So if we have a look at our education right now, our capacity, our eligible is 178, capacity is 300. So we can maybe save on a few teachers, as it were, and just bring that down. Now, I'm kind of confused why this is separated day and night. Do you s teach more or less people at nighttime? Maybe it's for universities. We've got more looking for commerce. Commerce is looking to grow. Commerce creates a little bit of noise pollution as well. What did that person just say? Scarlet Grey. Police offers small storage spaces with secure doors for hashtag rent. Right. You could just soak up some of the sights and sounds of the city while it's nighttime. It's, uh, we're almost at daytime already. It's pretty quick. Things are flowing nicely. I'm I'm pretty happy with how the town looks. I think that bottom, like changing that bottom estate, has really made it look a lot better, in my opinion. Anyway, look forward to putting in some parks and things to connect these areas up. All right. Now that's brightening up. Let's continue. Just like I said, we'll come in from here. It's hard to see, so the terrain actually line goes like this, like this weird ore terrain, and that will probably turn all of that into a park. So I think that is, what is that, oil is it? I think it was oil. Yeah, it's oil, but it's so faint, it's not like we're ever going to tap this, <laughs> don't think. Like, it's so faint. I question why it's even was placed in there by the map author. But like this one is like, yeah, obviously that's where you're going to be getting your oil. I'm not going to be like drilling around the lake just for like some faint bits. Um, but it does have that kind of differentiating texture. Maybe that's why they did it, actually. So we'll build around that just to say, like, yeah, let's keep it, like, kind of realistic. In fact, let's go freeform. And then we'll come up and around the lake a bit. I was going to go around here, but I realized that's a bit silly. Maybe just like this, and then up and around that way. So it's a real snaky area in there. Hmm. Maybe like that at first. Like this. And that can maybe lead out somewhere eventually. So there we go. Nice big long road for us to kind of work with. Let's slow time back down a bit now. We're not waiting on people to come in. We're still gaining people. We're up to 1,400 though. We're only a couple hundred off what we need to be. So I did say I'd like this to be kind of a commercial area, so we should start work on, maybe if we grab the main road. And we could have another bit of the roundabout here, or just bring this up and around. I think that would probably make more sense. It'd be nice if this whole thing was shifted down a little to the left, but it is the way it is. So let's just do this. So it's almost like, it's not a bypass, but it goes around the roundabout. It's for people that want to get up to the other town. So you still come in off the highway here, come in, and then come up and over towards where you want to go. It's a lot of money, actually. It's four and a half thousand to get that road. All right. So let's creating a junction down here. Let's just remove that. Don't think we need it. Nice. So we have this sort of frame of reference now to work with. Bigger area for the town. Like I said, somewhere here is the kind of commercial area. So we'll go back to the regular road. And we'll join this area down here. Maybe we could join it actually straight. Yep. 
Just a straight up connection. Something like that. There we go. Alright, that can be a new commercial area and we can have room for different things as we build it up in the future. Um, just wondering, should I connect that? Nah, you can come in, go there, get to wherever you need to go. It's almost tempting just to make it residential for now and then decide where that future has to go because I think we're not going to unlock the... I'm just trying to see when we're going to unlock things like that will really fill that area properly, like the high school and stuff. So there's a lot of different things for schools. Loads of stuff we're going to get in this one. Like, just a crazy amount. New fences. <laughs> all the stuff for all these different DLCs. There we go. We do get the high school in the public library. Yeah, I would actually then say, you know what? You don't even need this then. Because the high school could probably fit in here and some amenities and things around it. Yeah. I think that could look good. And I'm fine with even having commercial zones down here. So... As we block this out, I need to move where these power poles are going to go. Alright, what kind of zoning situation do we have? Alright, to get the ball rolling, let's start with some commercial zones down along this road. I don't know if that's a bad idea or not, you know, like putting it along this main road, clogging it up a bit, but it is a a four lane, so, you know, people can always just take the, the middle lane to keep going, the fast lane. So I think that's reasonable. I think that's what you should do. So we'll leave it like that. And we could always have a path going through to connect them. Actually, that would be nice for people to walk in. Alright, let's continue building out our new estates. So I'm just totally winging this. Don't need to even do that. I think that's totally fine the way it is. Kind of want to create some more angular roads in this place. That's what we said we'd do. So maybe we'll keep it straight. Don't know if there's a way to do that. Holding shift, holding control. No. I probably just don't know the control yet. But if we get to 180 degrees. About there. I, it's good enough. It's kind of a straight road. And then we can do like this. That keeps our angle straight now, especially if we do this. Alright. Alright, our new village. So, we're in demand for commerce, so we've painted it down here, so people should start filling that in. Let's do some more residential along the sides here. Because this commerce will probably get removed eventually and moved down here. So everyone kind of flows out. It's not bad having a little bit, though, maybe. Maybe just on one side of this, the road rather than both for the future. Uh, this can all be filled in. Again, if we're going to make this a park, maybe we shouldn't have houses at the back. Let's just save on that for, for now and see. Because this could be like, there could be like a fence or something that goes around here. You know, the, the park district as we paint it. Don't know if you can ever change the ground texture. Because it, I don't know how much sense it makes having a park where it's like. But I mean, it's a nature area to walk around. So I guess it's not too bad. Anyway. Alright, so let's just plop down a few more roads. Try to get a little quicker with it. So we have our first grid. There it is. There she is. I want to do something like that. Might interrupt the house on one side though, depending how it works. So you need to come in straight. So angle, straight. So I have to go... I, I can't do it if I select angle. I need to actually go to 90. 
and then curl it. Yeah. Just one little, little curl. That's all. Just a little, hey, natural turn here. Just something like that. All right. <laughs> All righty. Um, I'm just laughing at how ridiculous I am. All right. So maybe, so this is a little cul-de-sac down here. I don't really want to connect to this arterial just yet. Somewhere like here could. So we could actually bring that straight down maybe. Let's go with a angled straight road for this one. And yeah, somewhere in here then we could have a bit more of a freeform road. Maybe kind of mirroring the arterial road here. So let's go with freeform. Maybe start up a bit higher than that. Alright, they'll certainly need another connection. I mean, they can go this way, get up, and then other parts of the town will be up here. Yeah, I think that's actually fine, because they're also next to this. I'm just trying to think, if they want to get to the commercial area, right? If we're going to have a nice commercial area here, they'll have to... People will need to drive out this way, get down onto the main thing, go out this way, and then, then they're there. Well, that's just not... I don't think that's too bad, right? It's probably just enough. It's the most kind of travel time that you'd ever really want, I feel like, for the, an area like this. They, I mean, they can go way further. They would drive all the way out there if they wanted to, but um, or if they had to. All right, let's uh, supply these guys with what they need. They're obviously lacking. How are we doing for money? 7,000. We're making a lot. 2,400. Hell yeah, per week. Oh, we're left with a tiny gap in there. All right, and they need power. All right, so we're going to need far more houses. Um, just to extend power more naturally, I am going to continue this. But these houses may get removed in the future when we build parks. May. Don't know, but they may. <laughs> so we'll let it snake out that way, join power up to everybody, hopefully, and uh, yeah, this will just keep going as a commercial district, providing jobs for people. How many jobs do they have? So two jobs available here. Five are available out of nine. Four out of six. Yeah, some little jobs are popping up, left, right, and center. Love to see it. I'm happy with the layout. I think it's kind of cool. Pretty natural looking. If we zoom out a little bit, we can maybe now unlock this tile. This is the one I was going to go for. We'll build industry out here. 3,500 to purchase it. Lots of natural resources, farmland, fertile land, forest, ore, and oil. A little bit of water as well in the river, of course, and the rail line. Now, what did she say? Ashley Lee says, thanks for the amazing work you've done for our city. Absolutely no problem, Ashley. Anytime. Just remember to vote for me next, next election cycle. Oh, not happy with this. <laughs> I'll have to fix that at some point. Good to have access to the rail line, though, now. So, I guess the idea would be we'll have a big agricultural industry start building that maybe in the next episode out here. And then we'll have to connect some sort of train station. I don't know when you get the train station, but we don't have one yet. We'll triple speed just for a little while while we wait for more and more people to fill in. What's the problem? Low land value. Why would that be? You don't have pollution or anything on your area. Uh, can I see land value yet? It's not unlocked for me yet. Hmm. I'm surprised with that, just because they have the service of being near enough to a school. I can't put down parks yet, so what can I do to improve the land value? Nothing. It's at two. Oh, it's probably just like building and fluctuating between where it's yeah trying to get to. So as the land value builds up, do people pay more taxes? Well, to increase land value, you need, you know, amenities. Um, and not to be too close to, like, industry pollution, things like that, so... We'll see how it goes. 
Now, while we've just put down all these new roads, I guess we should maybe configure some certain things to do with the speed limits and that kind of thing. So we want to go with an 80 speed limit on the main road. So that's going to go all the way up there. This one's just set to 40. Ah, that's fine. It's all residential right now, but... Hey, we did it! Tiny town. Population of 1600. We now have park areas, industry, pedestrian, landscaping, event policies, parks and plazas, and so on. We have a lot of new stuff now at our disposal. Mayor's doing well leading this city. Citizens and businesses keep moving in. Love to see it. Awesome. Hey, we just got another cash injection. Feels good. All right. So what I was thinking is we can have an ac access now to all these different parks. So I'd like to put one down here, but you need a road to connect onto. This would be a nice one to do. So just a small park. Our first standard little park, raising the land value down this way. This one will be really small. So, I think the way we can do this is, I'm going to say, unfortunately, guys, you're a little too close to the edge. I don't like demolishing people's houses directly, but sometimes it has to be done. So we'll start with maybe a dirt road. And let's just go with a curved road. We'll give it the same angle. make sense in a second so just put down the road haphazardly like that we can move it now a bit so move this node way out to the left put this right up the back of these guys houses all right and then just shift this over Just see how this looks after a few seconds, because um, the, the idea is that we can put the park in between here, and it might kind of look like this is more just like a natural joined area, but it does need to attach to a road, and people do drive here to go there, but I think it could look kind of nice. Maybe subject to a little more fine tuning, but let's just see what that looks like for zoning now. Yeah, well, the zone doesn't really matter, obviously, for this park road. In fact... We'll turn off the zoning, so we just need to update the road with that. So you don't affect anyone's zones. That's all right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. So our park should. Oh, we do need zones actually. If you want to attach a park to it, I keep forgetting that. I always think it's to do with just housing, but it actually is attach points for other things. So we can just flip it to just be on one side. So it has to be the other side. There we go. So just that one there. That should allow us to attach to it. And there we go. So that's going to be... I don't even know which one we're looking at. Is it this one? That's a pretty big park. So this is a park with trees. This is small park. Phil Smots... Yeah, cool. For just citizens to operate in. A large playground. What do you think? A playground for kids or a park? Families with kids love this playground. Trees decorate the area and there's lots of space for kids to play in. I think, yeah, let's get, get back to the kids. They're our future after all. Just a nice little playground slash park. How nice is that? So what we could do maybe is just move this just a little bit further back. And bring that road with it. Maybe we could make this a bit more of a nicer bend, thinking about it. That's a bit more natural to go that way. And we'll fix the, the kind of entrance as well in a minute. Alright, we'll just leave it like that for the moment. Maybe I can clean it up a little bit more in the future, but um, looking pretty good. We also have these little pathways at the back. I was just thinking about it. Maybe, yeah, if we do that, and we can push this just a bit forward now. Get on top of that road. So the zoning should be fine. So we've got room at the back. And you can connect like little pathways out to this if we wanted to. Sun is actually setting, so we're just going to let the sun set. See how this all shakes out. 
And I don't want any houses in here, but we do want them to come back here. Stay there, if you can. Yeah, you guys are fine. This house is probably going to go. In fact, we could move them and just say, hey, I can save your life if we just move you manually and rotate you around in a second. Oh, it's not letting me rotate properly. There we go, almost there. And somewhere here, in you go. Does that work? Pretty much. As long as you're basically within the squares, it's uh, usually pretty lenient on you moving it. Now, if you go to node controller and just change this to say that this is just straight up the middle of a road. So it joins like that. It's a bend where it goes all weird. If we just keep it that way, maybe it'd be okay. In fact, this bit could maybe stay as a regular road, right? It looks like it'd be totally fine. Oh, <laughs> they, oh I didn't zone it. Oh my god, sorry. I did remove that zone just literally right before that. Anyway. Uh, yeah, let's try the upgrade then. So upgrade, we'll do double zoning on this one. So you guys are fine to keep it that way. Can't upgrade this one. This says space already occupied from the thing here. So I might, maybe I'll mess with this in between episodes or something. Just fine tune it a little bit. I feel like we can make this look nicer. I just, I'm worried about spending way too much time on it. Um, the other thing would be then just this node. It's just a bend. I can bring it down here. Oh, that looks so bad. A lot of people were saying you should use dirt roads to plan things out, but I don't know. They're kind of small and stuff. Hmm. Maybe I will just connect it as a regular road. It's such a shame you can't do it with just a regular path that it has to be a road to connect to. Anyway, these people will move back in here, and it should fill the area out, and then we can copy some of the trees and just dot this area around to make it look a bit better as well. So let's just try and do that real quick. Just even some of these would be good. And they'll only fill in where they can. All right, anyway, that's going to raise the land value of the area around here. And now we can actually check the land value. So there we go. We have a couple of abandoned buildings. I don't believe it. Let's get rid of those guys. And those guys. Yeah, so I expect lower land value out here. Out here is, like, great. People want to live near that lake. They love it. Is everyone connected to electricity? Everyone seems good. Nice, and there's room for other parks and amenities and just nice looking things at the backs of these places. Oh yeah, I just remembered. So having gotten to the next milestone, we can also do this area up a little bit. So I'm just gonna move this over to here for a sec. And we can do landscaping now, even just a small bit. So we'll go level terrain. Let's lower the terrain. Actually, we'll try level it first. Turn that brush strength way down. Okay, <laughs> that was not correct. Not level, soften. That's what I was looking for. And we'll turn this up. And there we go. We can just slowly level that out. Because there was just a slight hill that was making things a little awkward. And it's actually still kind of there. So I think we can just bring that down a bit. And then maybe smoothen it again. I think I overdid it just slightly on that bit. Yeah, looking good. All right, so we flattened that area. We can bring this now back over, I would say, to about here. And then we can go into here and just search for a parking lot. I don't know why. There we go. Oh, my God. Where are you? This point is being really a bitch. It's literally flashing for just like a microsecond. I could just put it down somewhere and move it, maybe. It'll, it should definitely connect in there. Why won't you turn? <laughs> All right, hang on. I have to move this again. Maybe put the parking lot down first, I guess. That's cost me money every time I do that. Right, so parking lot's down. We'll click the... 
move it. Mod. Bring it right into the edge there. And then we can bring this across. And they naturally join, which is nice. Good. There we go. We have a nice little... Hey, lights are on. Nice little elementary school parking area. People like that. It counts as a park. So it's not actually parking logically. Like, cars don't use it. I mean, car cars will fill it up. Um, but it's not like they, as they're visiting it, as it were. But it, they don't use it as parking to save on parking outside their house, for instance. It's not actually driven by logic that way. I hope City Skylines 2 addresses that, because parking lots seem to be like a thing that's oddly missing from the game. They're there decoratively, but not really functionally. Uh, we've got space now in between here. It'd be nice to kind of give these guys a suburban sort of fence to break it up. I don't know if we have fences yet. We're talking about canals and things. Walls and fences. Oh, literally, it's called Suburban Fence. And then we have Park Fences. These are all part of the Park Life DLC. Zoo Fence. Or Industry Fence. Forestry Fence. Alright, we could go with this one. Just see what it looks like really quickly. something like that and then we can kind of adjust and control it you pop it right in at the edge there The little patch of grass at the back. Almost feel like it would just be better to be concrete. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. A little separated out area. Kind of nice. And we could do more of these along different households and the states and things, and that could maybe break it up a bit and make it look a bit more natural. But if we want to take a, a kind of a nice zoom in now of this area, looks pretty good for a quick job. Not too bad. And let's have a look at our park. Oh, we can see some people in it already. Yeah, it's alright. Nice. Alright, so making progress. We're up to 1,642. Money is good. 20,000 in the bank, 2,000 extra. We have a huge need for residential, so let's just start spamming it. Getting some people in. Fill up, filling up all this lovely big road network we've just done. As we get into a bit more of an urban, built-up planned out area as it were less organic than before because it's been planned <laughs> somewhat oh just triple speed so yeah in the next episode i think what we're going to be doing is building out an industrial area so we're going to paint out an industry area out here name it if you got any idea if you have any ideas for the name of this farm let me know because you can name the area and name the industry so that'd be kind of cool so give me ideas that you have for, you know, it's just, it's going to be largely crops and cattle, I think, usually at, at the beginning. And then you're kind of making meat products and stuff, and then we'll be delisting this sort of industrial area and removing it. It would be nice to do forestry, but we'll start off with agriculture, I think, just because of the fertile land. Now, the cool thing about this is now that we've unlocked all this, if you haven't played the game before, you actually learn about outside connections, what you're bringing in and what you're producing yourself. So we are currently importing. These are the buildings that are importing different things. These are importing forestry products. These are importing ore products. So if you can build your own ore industry and all that, you offset that and you don't have to, I suppose, pay the import duties or whatever to bring them in. The companies pay you directly and you get the money. So that's kind of nice. Um, for exports, it's a similar thing. So some of your factories are going to export things anyway, like just regular goods. But you can eventually do mail, agricultural products, forestry, and ideally we give people jobs and we make a little off the top of selling our own kind of produce. That'd be the idea. I feel like it's starting to come together. What do you think? I think it's looking pretty good. All right, guys, that might have to be it for the end of this episode. So I feel like we actually did a decent amount of things. Focused a lot on smaller details, but the town is growing. We reached another milestone, and we have plans for the future. Maybe we could clean up that park a little bit, but other than that, I actually like the layout of this area. The roundabout's working pretty well. 
Oh, it's interesting. If you zoom out far enough, you actually do get the crossing markings. But if you zoom in, you don't. <laughs> I'll have to stay kind of more zoomed in then. Um, yeah, looking forward to the feedback of this one. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.